would not have that freedom that I would normally have. I got a bit frustrated. Anyway, the wife says, maybe you should go on the roof and paint. So I took her advice and came up. Not being able to paint is like, it would be torture. So again, up here in many ways, it's my savior. You know, I look over the edge here and people waving up to me, getting my attention. They'd be going like, well done, keep it up. So there was this kind of, the man is on the roof again, you know, as one guy said. I wouldn't be painting Dublin these months, like this time in the summertime. Uh, I'd be either Croatia, Italy or France, which I was invited to, to those places this summer to paint. And then to Berlin, getting ready for my show. So I wouldn't have been in Dublin, I would have been gone. Um, so in many ways, it, I got familiar with Dublin again. There was a great throwback from it that I wasn't expecting. People commissioned me to do, do paintings of like a particular building or their house or whatever else, or, or they might just want to buy a, a, a picture I had. But, but it, they were kind of like zooming in on the pictures that I painted the lockdown. And they wanted a picture that was painted at that time to mark the occasion. They said this is history in the making. And they wanted, but also it, it was to make them feel good. But there was a feel good factor in it in the sense of they had a piece of art coming into their lives, which I find myself as an artist, even it's, it enriches your life. In a dark time for people to bring that light into their lives, you know, it's, it's important as well.